The Kanto U2 desktop speakers have been a go-to pick the last few years. In fact, we have consistently awarded the U2 as one of the best computer speakers year after year. Its bigger brothers, the U4 and U6, are great additions to the line for someone who would want a little bit more sound. But time and time again, we see people eyeing the U2 due to how well it can produce sound for its exceptionally compact size. Due to its popularity over the last eight years, Kanto has listened to its customers and created a brand new speaker to add to their already impressive lineup with all of the upgrades we've been asking for. Introducing the Kanto Aura, the perfect speaker for gamers, creators, and musicians looking for a speaker that bridges the gap between their built-in computer speakers and large studio-grade monitors, yet still gives you that audiophile-approved sound without taking over your entire desktop. Let's take a deeper look into these new Kanto Aura speakers. While the U2s aren't going anywhere, the new Auras will be a direct step up in features, technology, and sound quality. We'll discuss the differences between the Aura and the U2 to help you decide if you should upgrade from the U2s or if you should spend a few extra bucks to get the Auras if you're in the market for some desktop speakers. And if you'd like to support us, consider ordering your Auras or any of your home theater gear at audioadvice.com where we promise free shipping, lifetime support, and a price guarantee. Now, the new Auras may be inexpensive, but they certainly don't feel or look like it. They come in a sleek matte black finish, and compared to the U speakers, they have a new and improved waveguide for the tweeter and an updated woofer below it. The matte black finish is extremely appealing, and we just love that it will fit in with just about any decor. However, one thing we love about Kanto speakers in general is their fun color options like white, black, walnut, bamboo, and more. And we see how many creators will love the matte black clean finish of the Auras, but some people love to have their speakers stand out on their desk, so we would love to see Kanto add more options to the Kanto Aura colors in the future. Kanto has also added a small volume knob to the bottom right of the main speaker for quick access to volume control and input switching. This is a massively welcomed feature that we wish the U2 had, so we were really thrilled to see it on the new Aura speaker. No longer are the days of reaching around to the back of a speaker just to slightly adjust the volume control and fumbling around to fine tune it. The new knob feels really nice, and I love that when you're connected via Bluetooth and you turn up the volume, it also shows the volume control on your phone too. And having this knob at just an arm's reach at your desk proved extremely convenient during our testing. They've also created a new small LED indicator light as well. The U2 has something like a miniature bulb that would emit light, and when you're in a dark setting, it could be somewhat distracting. Well, the new Aura has a small pinhole-sized opening where the light emits from so that it's easy to see at a glance, but it's not overly distracting. This light makes it easy to see what mode it's in, too. When you press the Bluetooth pairing button on the back, the light will blink blue when it goes into Bluetooth pairing mode. Then when connected, it will be a solid blue. Again, seeing this at a quick glance helps you determine the status of your speaker instead of playing a guessing game with pressing and holding multiple buttons like some Bluetooth speakers make you do. As we mentioned, the tweeter now sits in a waveguide that is slightly recessed and allows a little more control over the directivity of the sound. We also think it elevates the overall look and design of the speaker, mirroring what more expensive studio monitors often look like. It is still a 3 quarter inch silk dome tweeter, but the woofer has been upgraded from a 3 inch composite material used in the U2 to a 3 inch paper cone woofer, which provides a lot more natural sound. They've also removed the center dome and thinned out the surround of the woofer for an overall cleaner and improved style. Little features like this upgrade the overall look of this speaker and make it look more like a true luxury speaker in a miniature size. The entire speaker unit is similar in size to the U2 at 3.9 inches wide, 5.6 inches deep, and an inch taller at 6.9 inches. And what's really incredible is they each only weigh 2.2 pounds. This makes them small and light enough that you could throw them in your backpack and bring them to a friend's house for an impromptu recording session and use them as your studio monitors. When you spin the Aura around, you have a larger base port compared to the U2 at the top, and all of your connections are on the main speaker. There's a simple Bluetooth 5.0 pair button, a USB-C input, subwoofer out, RCA inputs, your power connection, and speaker out connection to connect to the other speaker. They've now included a speaker wire interconnect cable to connect the speakers together instead of the speaker wire that you had to use and tighten on the U2 speaker terminals. This just makes it extremely easy to connect up and even just break them down and take them on the go and then plug them back up and you're up and running super quickly. 
Now compared to the U2, you are missing the 3.5 millimeter aux input on the Auras, but to us, we don't really see many people needing one for most use cases that these will be used in. Now in addition, they also have a one quarter inch threaded insert on the back of each speaker if you want to mount them on the wall or a ceiling with a compatible speaker mount. Canto also includes small self-adhesive rubber feet that you can place on the bottom if you wish to sit these directly on your desk. But we do highly recommend that you add on their speaker stands specifically made to fit the Aura. Now, they have some that are super low profile and slightly tip the speakers up towards your ears. And then they also have some foam padding that will add further isolation. Now next, they also have ones that raise the speaker up about three inches to be actually closer to ear level for a much better performance. With the USB-C becoming so popular, we were really excited to see it make it on the back, making it much easier to connect to your computer or your laptop. Now in addition, that subwoofer out lets you pair up any subwoofer, but it does match perfectly with the Canto Sub 8V, a very powerful compact sub. And what's really cool about this connection is that the Aura's crossover network automatically kicks in and crosses the sound over at 100 hertz to a sub when it's connected, letting the Aura focus on the vocals and the high frequencies while the sub handles that low end duty. Now this allows the Aura's to play even louder without distortion since it can focus on those mid and high frequencies alone. The Auras provide 100 watts of peak power and 50 watts RMS of DSP tuned by amplified Class D power that gets shockingly loud and low for their very small size. Most entry level powered speakers use just one amp that drives everything inside one speaker box and use passive crossovers to route the signal to each driver, which means they have to use devices to passively filter the sound out. Now when you have a separate amplifier for each speaker driver as these Canto powered speakers do, you can use an active electronic crossover, which is far more efficient. The Auras also utilize digital signal processing or DSP to perfectly set up for the specific drivers to extract the very best performance from the speaker. There really is just something about an active speaker where you have a separate amplifier for each speaker driver that just brings the sound to life and lets you hear all the little details, especially when it comes to recording music or editing videos. And another really cool feature on the Auras is the RCA inputs that let you hook up legacy gaming systems or other analog gear. We set up the Auras on a typical desk setup in our office that we use for video editing, casual music listening, and just general use like watching YouTube videos. The setup was super simple as we used a USB-C to USB-C cable to plug in our MacBook Pro and it instantly recognized it and we were up and running. Immediately, we noticed how much the bass performance had improved over the original U2 speakers. We turned them up pretty loud and they went shockingly low without distortion. Add in the Canto Sub and not only did they go even lower, but they improved the mids and highs dramatically due to the Sub handling the entire low end. And we love the fact that it just automatically crosses the sound over with a subwoofer, so it's truly just plug and play without any worries of having to set anything up. When we listened to music with the Auras, they had great clarity and precision in those high frequencies, the mids were well balanced, and the vocals sounded extremely realistic. And this proved really important when it came to video editing or even producing music. Hearing the instruments and voices, how they were recorded is important so that you can accurately adjust them to your liking. Now, we must admit that using these as reference monitors with how small they are made us a little bit skeptical of their quality. But we have to say we were pleasantly surprised and extremely happy with their performance for their compact size. It's also great to have the options of stands that match perfectly. We really like the stands that raise these up closer to ear height for a better listening experience. And the volume control knob made volume adjustments just super easy with a knob on the front of the speaker. Overall, these Auras were extremely easy to use. They sounded fantastic, super compact, and proved to be perfect for a desktop setup without taking up too much space. So you may be asking, are these Canto Auras for you? Well, if you're recording extremely high-end videos or music, no. You should take a look at our video where we go through our favorite computer speakers at all different price ranges, and you should consider one probably at a higher price point. But if you want a versatile pair of speakers that will sound way better than your internal computer speakers, and even better than most desktop computer speakers in this price range, the Auras are gonna be a great fit. The fact that you can get this high quality of sound in such a small, affordable package is just amazing. Add one of their speaker stands to them and a Canto subwoofer, and you have yourself an insanely good desktop sound system for a very affordable price. We highly recommend the Auras as some simple and great sounding computer speakers that aren't gonna take up too much room, but sound way better than those computer built-in speakers.
If you have more questions about the Canto Auras or any other audio or video gear, reach out to our team of experts or just stop by one of our award-winning showrooms and we'd be happy to help you out. All right, I'll be in the comments, so let me know what you guys think of the new Auras. Are you gonna order these for your desktop or maybe as a secondary pair around the house? I know that I'll be using them further at a secondary desktop at work for editing videos and a lot more. So if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.